back with a new Puma release. Of course, this was released some months ago, but uh, with the new colorways coming out and more and more players switching to them, and old players of uh, Paracat also using this shoe, such as Marco Royce, Cesc Fabregas, and others who are wearing this shoe, Maria Balotelli, and for now, Gaia Toure. Dante to name a few so yeah let's get to the unboxing of the evil power one firm ground in peach ombre blue yellow colorway there we have them let's see we have the Everfit cage external here, which the internal version of the Everfit cage can be found on the Evo Speed 1.2 and a better version on the 1.3. So they have added that external here and it really helps with the fit as well. The upper is fully made of adapt lights here, this is here of course. Very soft upper. I don't know if it's a very soft upper, and of course I don't know if it's an upgrade or downgrade from the leather on the Powercat ones, but it's still very soft, very flexible. Actually, this shoe is very soft, very flexible, and one of the marketing campaigns for this shoe just focuses on that, that the upper and the outsole are very flexible as you can see it flexes just like your foot does and then goes back to its old position so it's as close as you can get to a complete barefoot experience playing football with this shoe on so as you can see here they're like this Lotto used to have a technology like this, but I used to own those shoes and I can personally say that they were not as flexible as this shoe. Let's get down to details. AccuFoam technology here. And then step the cat logo real nicely. Script is here. The tongue has a new Technology, you can see that about it here and here so that if you tie the shoe very firmly it doesn't make you uncomfortable on the ankles but I can personally say that it's, it's not that much helpful if you concentrate the firmness of your tie around these parts yeah they will help but often you'll find that if you tie them quickly or just as you regularly would they would hurt your ankle anyway so it's not that much of an improvement maybe 10% 20% in that sense Evil Power 1 logo here the lacing is a bit more on the light side but not as light as you would see the lacing on the F50s I think on the heel, you see this springy part here that helps stabilize your foot and make it softer on your heels. Of course, the heel counter itself is not that soft, but it does flex a little bit, as you can see. Now, to the outsole, GSF technology right here. You have Four studs in the back, two for stability. Of course, some Powercat versions had six, and these cover about the same area but with four, which is really good. And here we have one stud, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's inscribed as a stability blade, which helps your foot be stable. When you land after jumping or 
than sprinting or just doing anything. So uh, on the outside they have reinforced this stud to so be able to do that. Has nice Puma logo right here as well. Overall, what you can say is that these are an upgrade from the Power Cats and are certainly lighter. Also, overall, more flexible. Some might not be happy about the fact that these are not leather anymore, but uh, Puma have also made a Evo Power 1L which is the leather version not as widely available as these ones but Puma have thought of that and made that version as well which is nice now let's take a look at the insole see how that's like the shape and the material on the top part of the insole is pretty much the same as the power gets but on the bottom, you see that these extra paddings help with fit and comfort are added, and that certainly makes a difference. Another step up and upgrade in here. So yeah, the size nine and a half US weighs in at an impressive 207 grams. That's our review of the Puma Evo Power One. Firm ground. You can see Puma have stepped up to the challenges of making a football boot. It's flexible. You can see, it doesn't hurt your ankles when you lace them up. Fits great the first time and every other time you put them on. If you ever fit the page and other technologies that make this shoe the most powerful that make this shoe a fast shoe, powerful shoe and of course a reliable shoe. If you have any questions or comments regarding this shoe don't forget to post them under this video and as always don't forget to like and subscribe.